Hi, welcome to an on-shape video tutorial, the next part of my 7-cylinder radial engine. So let's have a look at the drawing. So here it is, and you could make a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step, if you want. So let's have fun with on-shape. In order to make it a little bit more interesting, I want to do it with a multi-body model. So I will do two bodies. Let's start with a sketch on the front plane. I need a profile which might look something like this. I try to snap here to get, yeah, let's move it a little bit. So let's see if we can snap here. Yes, should be possible. Go up over here, go up over there, up, back, and up over here. Try to snap here and close it here. Now let's add some dimensions. So this here should be 62. This here should be 6. That distance should be 8. Next one should be 10. Next one 12, then 17, then 20, and the last one should be 66. Now let's add one coincidence from this point to that one. And another dimension from this line to that line, and this should be 60. Let's see if all move. Yes, that's great. So let's finish that sketch and make a revolve with that sketch. And the axis would be this line here and 360 degrees and confirm. So that's the first body or solid. Now I want to do a sketch on the top plane here. Let's view from the top. Let's make a circle and that diameter should be 112. Finish that sketch, make an extrude make it 15 millimeter and confirm. Now another sketch on the same plane, the top plane. And I need an elongated hole. So I go for a rectangle, for a circle here at the middle like this, snap here, go to that point. Let's add a construction line from this point to that point. Add some dimensions. So this distance should be 55. And that one should be 50. And the upper one as well. Let's see if it's necessary. Okay, now let's go for a trim. Let's trim here and over there. And then I want to use that midpoint constraint. So go for this one, select that point, select that line, and it should be moved over here. It's not fully constrained, I suppose. So what's missing? Let's check it out. Let's try to move, or maybe I need a vertical constraint. That's it. 
confirm. Now with that sketch, another extrude, add it to the already existing one and go for 60 millimeter. Confirm. Now a last sketch on the right plane. This will be a circle. Diameter should be 15. I need one dimension from this point to the sketch origin or the origin like this and this should be 33. And of course this point and that point should be aligned vertically. Let's confirm. Now with this sketch another extrude again it's added, yes, it should be symmetric, and I want to go for 140 millimeter. Confirm. Let's bring back that part. Now we can make a Boolean operation and subtract this tool from that target and confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.